Prepare, position, and oxygenate the patient with 100% oxygen. Select proper ET tube without stylet, test cuff, and prepare suction. Lubricate the distal end and cuff of the endotracheal tube, ETT, and the distal one half of the endotracheal tube introducer, bougie. Note. Failure to lubricate the bougie and the ETT may result in being unable to pass the ETT. Using laryngoscopic techniques, visualize the vocal cords if possible using Celex or Burp as needed. Introduce the bougie with curved tip anteriorly and visualize the tip passing the vocal cords or above the arytenoids if the cords cannot be visualized. Once inserted, gently advance the bougie until you meet resistance or hold up. If you do not meet resistance, you have a probable esophageal intubation and insertion should be reattempted or the failed airway protocol implemented as indicated. Withdraw the bougie only to a depth sufficient to allow loading of the ETT while maintaining proximal control of the bougie. While maintaining a firm grasp on the proximal bougie, introduce the ET tube over the bougie, passing the tube to its appropriate depth. If you are unable to advance the ETT into the trachea and the bougie and ETT are adequately lubricated, you may attempt direct laryngoscopy while advancing the ETT. This will require an assistant to maintain the position of the bougie and, if so desired, advance the ETT. Once the ETT is correctly placed, hold the ET tube securely and remove the bougie. Confirm tracheal placement according to the intubation protocol. Auscultate for breath sounds and reposition accordingly. Inflate the cuff with 3 to 10 cc's of air. Apply end tidal CO2 monitor and record and monitor readings to assure continued tracheal intubation. When final position is determined, secure the ET tube. It is strongly recommended that an airway evaluation form be completed with any intubation.